seals are good, air pressure good, and we're docked. Pardon my ignorance. We just didn't expect to find people out here. We didn't think anyone else left Earth before us. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. I don't know all the particulars, but I'll try to answer as best I can. It's a colony ship. It was built long ago by our ancestors to sustain our crew over hundreds of years in space through generations of travelers. It's sturdy, fast, and spacious. That last one is important because we had to take as many supplies as possible with us on the journey and still have ample space for our crew. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. De Costa, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth Colony. We were never trained to In the early 21st my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios. Climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction-level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that what happened. that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. Careful it really goes to show that there are no limits around. to human ingenuity and perseverance. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. 
Does that sound agreeable to you? Hmm. I wish I could say that the satisfaction of helping others in need is sufficient, but I'm not getting that impression from you. I'm sure we can pull together some resources equivalent to whatever currency you use these days. We'll do what we can to make it worthwhile. And until then, you're free to make use of whatever facilities you need on our ship. We know there's a settlement on the planet below, meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Thank you. And now that we know what's out there, Just stay out of trouble. Sure is nice to know there are other people out there. Keeping a 200 year old ship running. I wonder what else is out there. Wow. Hi. Wow. I I've heard about you, but. I've lived my entire life in the We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Just because our equipment's old, doesn't mean it won't work to take down. Hey! To think, all this time, we thought we were alive. Sometimes, difficult choices must be made. Boy, am I glad you weren't some sort of alien or something. Never seen a ship like yours before. Just stay.
staying safe out there. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Something I can help you with? Ah, oh, it has a name. Good. Then you're already familiar with the situation, I take it. Do you know what they want? Interesting. We obviously have no records of a colony ship claiming this planet. Whatever the case, you'll need to speak with Oliver Campbell. A CEO for the Paradiso Group, he's in charge of bringing all formal decisions before the board and helping to make calls on them. I'll let him know you're on your way. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? I really don't, and I can't have you barging in on the executives while they're working. So if you need something, you can talk to me. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Please, let the concierge know. if you need anything. I just feel that we should if be it's not focusing important, on bring the it up natural with beauty Katie. of this planet, not our amenities. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. 
someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. This is Free Star Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. Scan complete. You're clear to land. All right, Adela. Deep breath. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Of course. Why would... I'll be over here. Keep an eye on your valuables. We can't protect you. But we'd be dust. Exactly. Howdy. Hope Tech needs brave new inno. Sure, that sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grav drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours? It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grav drives are. True. I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Perhaps this is that right time. Yeah, I hope so. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. You're done, right it is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. 
We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster-than-light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible! I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And, I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. What grab tribe? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers built me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right, this will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it!
then mine. Uh, can you go inform the captain about the commission information? Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. Careful waving that fancy gun around. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Well, well, it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've done. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again.